Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Elsa Rossi and Esteban from Ireland together to present this wonderful event. Our British Union of Spiritist Societies, UK, and Irish Spiritist Federation, Republic of Ireland, have the great joy to have with us our dear friend, humanist and Indian, Divaldo Franco. Divaldo, for us, Spiritists, is an example of perseverance, dedication, and trust in the Spiritist teachings. He is spreading and living the precepts of Spiritism, following our Master Jesus in footsteps. At the age of 95 years old, Divaldo remains steadfast and tireless. For 75 years, he has been dedicating his life to the Spiritist cause throughout Brazil and worldwide. He is unstoppable. Throughout the period of social isolation, he continued psychographing books, giving online lectures, seminars, courses, among others. So, for all these teachings and energy he's giving us, we couldn't let go this particular date because he usually come to Europe for a series of talks and seminars at this time of the year. Thus, we bring to the virtual public a lecture that was held in March 22 and broadcasted by the Web TV Mansão do Caminho. The lecture theme is Hope and Consolations, translated into Italian, English, French, Finnish, Norwegian, Swedish, Dutch, and Czech, and will be available on the YouTube channel of Mansão do Caminho, Mansion of the Way. For those who don't know him, we will summarize his brilliant 95 years of life and show a video about the social work done at Mansão do Caminho. Professor Divaldo Franco, medium, educator, lecturer, writer, ambassador of peace from Bahia, Brazil. Founder of the Path of to Redemption Spiritism Center and the Mansion of the Way, Mansão do Caminho. Dedicated to the poor, the sick, and the need which continues to this day. Mansão do Caminho also provides shelter and care for elderly people. The work continues and grows day by day and has a new maternity and prenatal unit to care for poor women who otherwise would have no assistance. Nearly 5,000 people are fed there every day. His message of brotherhood, tolerance, understanding, peace, caring and love has been heard by thousands of people in almost every language. Professor Franco has received many honorary degrees and doctorates from universities around the world. Divaldo Franco has worked as a medium for over 75 years and has co-authored more than 250 books through psychography or automatic writing, working with over 117 spiritual authors, but mostly with the spiritual guide, Joana de Angelis, his mentor. He has also received thousands of messages in African, French, German, Italian, Castilian Spanish, languages that Professor Franco does not speak. He could spend a lot of time talking, we could spend a lot of time talking about his achievements, but it is better to listen to Divaldo Franco himself. With joy and gratitude, we wish you all an excellent listening and an excellent event. Thank you for being with us. Enjoy our event. Construída em uma área de 80 mil metros quadrados, a Mansão do Caminho é um complexo educacional e assistencial que conta com mais de 50 edificações, distribuídas entre ruas, bosques e lago. 
e onde são atendidas em média 4 mil pessoas, entre crianças, jovens, adultos e idosos de famílias de baixa renda. Neste local são desenvolvidas diversas atividades socioeducacionais, escolas, cursos, oficinas, panificação, bordado, tapeçaria, reciclagem de papel, centro médico e laboratório de análises clínicas. A creche A Manjedoura é reconhecida pela excelência de suas instalações e pelo alto padrão de serviços que oferece. As crianças recebem alimentação, vestuário e acompanhamento médico e pedagógico. A Mansão do Caminho dispõe ainda de um centro de cultura, com diversas oficinas, para adolescentes de 12 a 16 anos. Além de uma escola de informática, com curso básico e de manutenção de microcomputador. Aqui também está localizado o primeiro centro de parto normal do Norte e Nordeste, que conta com a mais moderna técnica arquitetônica, oferecendo o máximo de conforto e funcionalidade para a parturiente e o obstetra durante a realização do procedimento médico. Já o laboratório Dr. Bezerra de Menezes destina-se ao atendimento ambulatorial aos alunos, funcionários e pessoas assistidas pela instituição, com diversos procedimentos, além do Centro de Saúde José Carneiro de Campos e da Farmácia Leonice Bispo. A Caravana Alta de Souza, fundada em setembro de 1948, é trabalho voluntário voltado para o atendimento de idosos e pessoas inválidas, portadoras de doenças irrecuperáveis e degenerativas. Fundada por Divaldo Franco e Nilson de Souza Pereira, em 15 de agosto de 1952, a Mansão do Caminho hoje conta com mais de 200 funcionários, além de 400 colaboradores voluntários permanentes, que juntos fazem movimentar toda essa engrenagem. Quando Jesus morreu, os seus discípulos, Pedro, João e Tiago, edificaram uma casa de amor entre Jerusalém e Jope. E essa casa foi denominada como sendo a Casa do Caminho. Tentando copiar do gesto heróico, nós pensamos em fazer um lugar onde todos encontrassem albergue, oportunidade de amar, mas sobretudo fossem amparados e tivessem as suas dores diminuídas. Senhoras, senhores, ladies and gentlemen, queridas irmãs, dear sisters, dear spiritual brothers, espíritas, dear friends that are following us through amigos, the Mansão do Caminho web. Através da web TV Mansão do Caminho, nossos votos. I wish you much peace. Muita paz. Almost 19 centuries before the Spirit's book was published. Antes que fosse publicado o Livro dos Espíritos, the philosophers and thinkers of those times, época, particularly in Greece, were trying to explain what the most serious enigmas that existed in thought. Um então que existiam no pensamento. Antes Before them, naturally, in India and China, Civilizations with a more ancient culture, the exciting issues had also been called to their attention. In Greece, not as much, but we were able to know that Leucippus, Lucretius, and Democritus were widely concerned with the constitution of matter. What matter might be? Its form. Why does it present as it does? 
Como How is life made up? A vida? From where do beings come? De onde In particular, the animals, the men and the women. Especialmente os animais, os homens e as mulheres. Qual what era was o seu their destiny? Destino? But what were they made of? Especialmente como eram constituídos. Foi então that is when Lucretius and Democritus established Democrito that human beings and all material things were made up of atomic conglomerates. That is, formadas particles de that could not be divided. Atômicos. If you kept on dividing Isto matter, é, you would eventually reach a part that could not be divided any further. A ia sendo This particle was considered a sphere shape. que não podia mais ser dividida. Ela era esférica. And later, Lucifus and Democritus added that it most likely had a ring that would allow them to block onto each other, and this would shape. The field of appearances. Para acoplar-se umas nas outras, assim formando o campo da aparência. Mais tarde, Later on, Aristotle, Aristotle that inherited culture from Socrates and Plato, a cultura de Sócrates e de Platão, stated that it was important, important to get to know the principal elements that made up matter. Os elementos principais que formavam a matéria. E and he established that there were four quatro elements: o ar, air, o fire, fogo, earth and water. Terra e água. Eles eram they were responsible for dryness, sequia, heat, excessive cold, calor, pela frieza demasiada, mas também but also for the abundance of ways in which they presented. Manifestações em que eram vistos. As ideias From a materialistic do point of view, ideas became condensed. condensadas. As ideias spiritualist ideas found other explanations in Socrates, in Plato, Plato and Aristotle. E Aristóteles, outras explicações, conforme a Bíblia dos judeus. Mais tarde, on, in the Middle Ages, essa investigação na Idade Média Chamou René Descartes, Descartes and Newton, de Renato de Tar, Descartes e de Newton, que estabeleceram que essas formas eram indefiníveis, mas que possuíam elements elementos them. dentro delas. Foi mais ou menos entre 1802 e 1807 que Dalton, o grande químico, the great estabeleceu chemist, que, através das suas observações, havia dentro deste element, elemento único outras partículas, mas ele não pôde ir adiante por falta de recursos técnicos da química, só mais tarde, bem Only mais tarde, later, por volta de 1872, que o William Crookes, William Crookes da Inglaterra, Fez o tubo e envolveu esse tubo fazendo passar internamente o problema, uma corrente elétrica. E Crookes notou que do polo negativo saía uma suave claridade. Ele denominou a essa claridade de fluidos catódicos, ou energia catódica. Começava a ser a large phase uma larga began. experiência. Porque a partir Because de então, since then, desse 1872, os cientistas começaram a investigar e foi uma desmaterialização da própria matéria. As opiniões multiplicavam-se, dividiam-se e mais tarde... Um, Con William, William Conrad Röntgen, Röntgen, the famous researcher, um notável estudioso, percebeu uma coisa curiosa. Ele envolveu a mão da sua esposa in a plate em uma chapa e colocou and it sobre under Crookes os raios catódicos de Crookes. E teve and uma surpresa. Quando revelou a When chapa, plate, ali estava a marca da mão da senhora nascia o raio X. Ele denominou a essa energia como o raio X. Um pouco mais tarde, Rutherford, estudando a constituição de determinada substância, 
Urânio, por exemplo, uranium, por exemplo, percebeu que o urânio dava três tipos de raios. Alfa, alfa beta, beta e delta. E gamma. E que esses and these rays were the smallest fragmentation of a matter. menor fragmentação da matéria. As investigações the investigations continued. E mais tarde, já Later no on, século already in the 20th XX, century, o casal the Curry Curry spouses conseguiu constatar, aliás, nuclear era, radiations. a radiação nuclear, fazendo pesquisa com a pesquisa toneladas e toneladas que ela fazia ferver em verdadeiras fogueiras de madeira nos fundos da Universidade de Sorbonne. Certo dia, no escuro, ela percebeu que no fundo de um vasilhame de louça em que ela havia colocado os restos da tela tonelada imensa Brenda, havia uma radiação. Então percebeu so a matéria radiante. Matter. E também and percebeu que as suas mãos, de tanto mexerem com essas substâncias, so estavam gravemente hurt. feridas. Era o resultado This was the result da of more irradiação molecular. As investigações the cresceram grandemente no século XX. Porque Einstein, Einstein, around 1905, por volta de 1905, apresentou a teoria theory of relativity da relatividade do tempo e do espaço. E logo depois, after, acrescentou também observations observações to the muito valiosas para so as pesquisas que se realizavam. Então, vemos que a matéria foi desaparecendo. Broadly, mais tarde, on, Poli noted the ripple percebeu of light. He a that light was made up of beams of vibrations. e detectou que a luz era formada de feixes de vibrações. Portanto, so, era constituída de matéria e de energia. energia. Por volta de 1923, o princípio de Brody, da Escandinávia, apresentou workers, com outros trabalhadores uma teoria an extraordinária a respeito da constituição nuclear da matéria. E surgiu a teoria da complementaridade. Essa complementaridade cresceu. E quando o mesmo foi mais esperado, por volta dos anos 40, 50, se descobriu que o átomo podia ser constituído de aproximadamente 60 partículas diferentes. Hoje, com as conquistas notáveis no campo da física, da química e da astrofísica, Chemistry and astrophysics, they have concluded that matter is made up of 260 elements. The most recent ones are fascinating. The neutrino, the neutrino for example. The neutrino is a particle that possesses such speed that it can cross a galaxy at the speed of thought. But around 68 years or so ago, Matematicamente, researchers were able to mathematically identify the possibility of a particle de uma that was more of the imagination que era than real, mais so it was given a name. Do que real. E então, se lhe deu uma denominação. No ano passado, In havendo past, realizado research in laboratories by means of a great tube for the collision of particles, um de de o choque de dois prótons se liberou com uma celeridade incrível aquilo que havia sido denominado de bóson. bóson. E passou a ser Higgs chamado bóson, bóson the name of the English scientist, o cientista inglês, que havia pensado na possibilidade dessa partícula que é conceptual. E a física and then physics deixou de away ser from the Newtonian Newtoniana model of identical das manifestações idênticas para ser a física das probabilidades.
porque essas probabilidades não podem ser demonstradas no laboratório, mas somente em cálculos matemáticos perfeitos ou em experiências que, por acaso, são bem-sucedidas, dando lugar ao conhecimento desse bozo que fascinou o mundo because of its speed, because of its disintegration is much faster than the neutrino itself. In this void, and in this scientific search, in the great debates of academia, first off, an astrophysicist living in England was brave enough to say that matter does not exist. What exists o aglomerado de átomos com o que concordam todos os investigadores. Mas ele foi mais adiante. Ele disse que chegou a contactar o Espírito e definiu que o Espírito é o elemento comparável à eletricidade e ao magnetismo e que tem as suas próprias características. Ele ficou tão impressionado he was so impressed que by this, estabeleceu that he created a name. um nome. E esse nome the name was mind. era Mind. Mind, mind in English, é as we know, is Mind. Mente. So then Mas he então explained ele explicou that the que a mind and spirit que o were made up of particles which he called partículas. Mind as quais ele deu o nome de Mind Homes. E a energia Energy passou a ser the a razão do universo. Energia Energy que is se transforma em matéria quando when it is congela ou quando se aglutina. Matéria Matter, que ao ser diluída se converte em energy. energia. Nesse momento And grandioso da humanidade, a século has already been available for over 150 years. And it too was very interesting to know what are human beings, what are they made of, how are their lives. So Allan Kardec asked the spirits, what is God? And the spirits replied, that God is the basic cause of the universe. A inteligência the suprema intelligence. E mais tarde, Later on, Alan Kardec perguntou: "And what proof do we have of the existence of God?" Da existência de Deus. A resposta. And the reply was fascinating. Tudo aquilo Everything que that was not made homem, by man por Deus was made foi feito. by God. Se nós olharmos as constelações, if we look at the constellations, the galaxies that nowadays can be counted in sextillions, which is 10 to the power of 24, and that each one of them has millions, trillions of stars in the sky, we will be dazzled by this supreme intelligence that created the universe. O universo. Mas teve um momento em que o universo when the universe appeared. And until the scientists asked themselves, is this universe where we find ourselves the only one? Foi o primeiro? Was it the first one? Haverá outros? Might there be others? Le Maitre, também um investigador, also a researcher, established that the universe began 15 billion years ago. 15 bilhões de anos. Quando houve When the Big, Big Bang, Bang took place, a that is the explosion. Great Explosion, Dois two scientists, Pencias and Wilson, Wilson confirmed this explosion. Essa explosão daí and they were then able to measure the time that passed since coming together of the two particles. That were stationary until one of them became potentialized. And there was a collision. And then the expansion of the universe began. And then the expansion of the universe began. From this expansion of the universe, more or less four billion years ago, billions of years. Da imensa Our universe esfera was born from the immense incandescent sphere that was rotating in space. Saiu o nosso sistema solar. E dele And our Earth came from it. A nossa terra. 
e dela sai a nossa lua através da fragmentação. E o ser humano nas primeiras moléculas of the oceans, de vida billion, na intimidade dos oceanos há 2 bilhões e 200 milhões de anos. Allan Kardec so, Allan pergunta Kardec, no livro dos Espíritos Spirit que é o Espírito. What is the Spirit? E eles the mesmos replied, responderam o Espírito the Spirit é o princípio do universo. E estabelece que no universo há dois there are two principles in the universe. That which is aquele mass, que é massa, matéria, that which is energy, e aquele que é spirit. energia, espírito. Então nós temos so we have Deus, God, spirit, espírito and matter. e matéria. E o livro dos espíritos se transforma em um notável compêndio de química, física, da física, da astrofísica, modernos, procurando explicar quem somos, de onde viemos e por que sofremos. Então, uma terrível uma inimiga da criatura humana, que era a morte, death, morreu. Ante a realidade died. que nós somos, o princípio In view of the reality de natureza imortal, eterno. Mas não é Some certo. May say eternal, a palavra eterna, mas não é right. certo. Because the word eternal, eternal means without beginning or end. God, God is eternal. We cannot fathom in our minds how this intelligence appears, the functioning of these laws, and the main, that maintain the universe. It is because of the four laws, the four laws that maintain, for example, the universe, our solar system. They're just four laws. They for example, the universe, our solar system. São apenas quatro leis. A da Gravity, gravidade, electromagnetism, a lei quântica forte, a lei quântica frágil. E nós vemos a grandeza dessa realidade. Para dar uma ideia, quando olhamos o átomo e a sua constituição de elétron e próton, The very learned Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, a German who went to the United States Alemão, after the Second World War, says as follows. If someone asks me, me where is where in an atom is the electron? Where 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 is the electron? quilômetros por segundo. E no outro sentido, And in the other direction, the proton has a speed of 76,000 quilômetros por segundo. Se por acaso essa velocidade variasse, aquela partícula vary, cairia no abismo. Então, essa lei so the universal law de velocidade, of the speed of light, a luz, 300 Quilômetros por segundo. Então, são leis transcendentais que regem o universo no qual surgiu a vida. A mais grandiosa lição de todas essas pesquisas. E eu fiz uma síntese muito modesta, somente para dar uma ideia da realidade filosófica dentro da ciência de investigação a respeito da criatura humana. E qual é a necessidade da criatura humana? Desde aquela pequena célula, desde os líquens no fundo do mar, e depois a sua proliferação, o surgimento das primeiras partículas vivas, das plantas, dos seres animais, depois a multiplicidade das guelgas, dos peixes, dos aparelhos respiratórios dentro das águas, para o surgimento dos batráquias, depois dos quadrúpedes, das aves, This immense reality that we can contemplate today, 
through the great, great knowledge of science. Então veio Then came spiritism. This philosophical, scientific, ethical, and moral revelation with profound consequences for religions. Why are the consequences profound? Because at the moment when the hominid primate moved from instinct to reason, he started thinking. Until Até then, então, he was an animal, um animal, like other animals. Como os outros animais. There was a difference in his structure, but he was pure instinct. Instintos. Comer, to eat, dormir, sleep, fazer sexo. and have sex. De repente, Suddenly, in the cave in which he found himself, encontrava, he became afraid. A fear he had not animal, previously experienced, because mas de he was an animal confronting que other animals. But suddenly, he realized that living in a cave, any, any predatory animal could come in and destroy his life. So what did he do? He leaves the cave and goes to live in the lakes on stoop houses. So he could notice and see if any adversary was arriving and escaping through time. So he started to think and the first emotion that he felt was fear. And fear is linked to a basic instinct, the preservation of life. We all fight against death by instinct. We react, we make efforts. We say we don't believe and we are not afraid of death until the time that it arrives. Of course, there are exceptions, as in any rule. But I am talking in general. And, and we feel consumed. We feel consumed. Why do we die? Because, because we have a quantum of energy that gives us vitality. Energia vitality that is the presence of those atomic particles that are within us. 260, as I mentioned, and that make up the universe. O universo. Porque elas estão em nós, because they are within us, Alain as Alan Kardec heard from the Spirits in question 540 of the Spirits book. The primitive atom will one day be an angel um dia será anjo. through the process of reincarnation. Just assim like the angel of today um anjo de anjo was an atom at some moment in our ancestral em algum history. Momento da nossa história ancestral. O Espiritismo vem como ciência. Gives us science. Por que como so ciência? Why science? Porque se Because pode can investigar be in laboratories. Enquanto os sábios While usam learning investigators use special instruments to go within the micro and macro particles. E macro partículas, o Espiritismo usa Spiritism a mediunidade. Mediumship, an organic Uma faculdade orgânica that human creatures das possess. criaturas humanas. E através and it is through this organic dessa faculty faculdade orgânica that it demonstrates that death is precisely a change of vibrational state. I am today within matter, as you can hear me. Here the atoms are agglomerated, but they became separated by a lack of energy. But if they became separated by a lack of energy, which we call vital energy, a breakup will take place with the organs failing and the body's death, but not the energy that we call spirit or soul. The spirit is the thinking being, while the body is the machine through which we communicate. Let's imagine that the machine is like a deep-sea diving suit to go down into the intimacy of the waters. And when we take off our diving suit, we carry on thinking. The diving suit doesn't think. It obeys orders. These orders come from the psychism, from the spirit, the being, the intelligent principle. God granted this intelligent principle the great miracle of life.
a vida life that is often maligned, combated, combated, and is one of the most notable miracles in the universe. Milagres junto ao universo. The universe is a miracle. We might never Pode know why it exists, for what reason it exists, for what reason it exists. E por que estamos nele? Why are we in it? A grande a verdade é que ele existe, estamos nele e evoluímos com ele it, na direção de um estágio. In the direction e o Evangelho chama o de que Jesus que o reino dos céus está Jesus refers by saying, o Espírito Santo dizer que esse reino dos céus não é um lugar. Embora haja lugares de energia, onde vivemos, a terra é uma cópia de energia prima, mas é uma cópia imperfeita. Tudo que All temos aqui, here, temos lá. Mas nem tudo que existe lá, nós temos aqui. Porque somos cópia. Trazemos ideias de nós mesmos. Porque somos cópia. Trazemos essa ideia no inconsciente da matéria. Vitalizamos-la. Tornamos-la realidade objetiva. E mesmo depois que passa a matéria, essa energia permanece. E então so vem dessa investigação, através dos fenômenos mediúnicos, que comprovam a imortalidade da alma, a certeza inabalável da religião by Jesus, criada pelo thinking, pensamento de Jesus, ou criada on pelo pensamento thinking. de Jesus. Quando esse When homem extraordinário veio ter conosco, us, a humanidade se encontrava lamentavelmente dominada, pelo With exception of the Hebrew people who believed in one God, Israelita, que acreditava no Deus único. And e no meio de in the midst of all these issues at that time, the unique and different man came and taught us the food that the energy, the food that energy was called love. Enquanto o corpo While the body needs various different substances to maintain all the automatic Todas atomic organizations, atômicas, the intelligent principle needs vibrations, vibração, affectionate vibrations, vibração afetuosa, vibrations of love, do amor, in all it encompasses, in all its infinite variety. Infinita. We can notice this in harmony. What's harmony? harmonia o que é What's harmony? A It's the law of love that, that agglomerates things within a certain order. Aristotle, Aristotle spoke a lot about harmony. But Plato spoke about ethics, da ética, both 400 anos, years before Jesus. Anos antes de Jesus. And Jesus, Jesus came veio, fala and spoke da ética, of ethics, amar, to love da harmonia, and harmony, fazer to do good. A minha my inner harmony depends on what I do to my neighbor. Próximo, because, because what I do to my neighbor, próximo, I will be doing to myself. The good Bem, or the bad that I do que eu fizer, is to myself. É para mim. It's a boomerang. É um boomerang. You Ativa throw a boomerang, boomerang out, and then it comes back. Volta. It has ele a curvature, curva and it comes back to the place from where it left. Ele partiu. Então, so then, o the destiny of human beings humana. appeared. É What is our destiny? As All dizem, religions say similar coisa, things with different words. Diferentes. You go to heaven, vai para o Aveno, you go vai to paradise, vai para to Shangri-La. Vai para Shangri-La. Nós voltamos we go back to our original world ao mundo de origem, that is called the kingdom of immortality. É chamado o reino da imortalidade. Se nós If we are noble in sentiment and had a healthy life, we will return very well. Como eu faço It's like when viagem. I go on a trip. Saio de Salvador I leave para Salvador and Washington. I go to visit Washington. Eu serei and I will be what I've taken me, de mim, my character, my behavior, my, behavior, my values, my temperament. Os meus valores, o meu temperamento. In, in Washington, Washington eu posso I can degenerate or I can improve myself. Quando When I return to Salvador, Salvador, I will bring with me the experiences that I took with me e and the ones that I carried out in Washington. In Washington. It doesn't Não matter that they are lugar. from one or another place. They are in my soul. Alma que that is which I am, a soul, um an incarnated encarnado. spirit. E que eu Wherever vá, I go, this contribution goes with comigo. me. Aí that is why suffering exists. O que é o sofrimento? Buda perguntava. Why do we suffer? 
Exatamente por causa da fragilidade da matéria. É um desgaste. Nós pegamos o aço mais inoxidável. Com o tempo, ele consegue sofrer as intempéries. Tudo se transforma no universo, menos o amor de Deus, que permanece em nós. Então, a filosofia... The philosophy of all this science is centered on the ethics and morals of Jesus' gospel. Because Jesus said, I will send you someone. I will not leave you orphaned. I will send someone to console you. And that is why the Spirit spoke. This reservoir of wisdom, in its fourth part, na quarta parte, there is another book because it's made up of four books. Livro é quatro livros. E o quarto the fourth se chama one is called Hopes and Consolations. E consolações. We will always Nós have to remain hopeful because our fate is goodness, happiness. Porque a nossa fatalidade é o bem, é a felicidade. E se nós aprendermos If we learn a precisar so da felicidade através dos bons thoughts, pensamentos, das work, boas palavras, das boas actions, ações, nós agora teremos consolações. Mesmo Even a morte desaparece. Deixa eu vou contar uma experiência que eu tive há 40 anos atrás. mais de 40 anos. When I was much younger than I am today, a young man, 94. But in those days, I must have been around 50 years old. I have the habit of talking to the people who come to see me. Before the meeting, these people might be triaged by those offering paternal dialogues. And then they are sent to me, or if not, after the meeting, if they are open to the public. I was seeing to the people in the queue after a meeting. When a very desperate lady approached me, muito desesperada, she came with a friend who was comforting her and was asking her to be patient. The lady approached me and was quite rude, e foi bastante rude para não dizer not to say impolite. Ela disse, Eu vim aqui. She said, I have come here because of my friend's insistence, porque eu não because acredito. I don't believe. I don't believe in spirits. I don't believe in you. I don't believe in anything. But I am desperate. I am a psychiatrist, a psychoanalyst, a Freudian. I don't believe in anything. But I was a mother. And my son committed suicide at the age of 16. I'm desperate because my life has also vanished. My life, my husband's, and I, my husband is a psychiatrist. And we're here in Salvador and we have many clients. We lived to educate our son's character and his life. And last Sunday, he committed suicide. He was suicidal. So we are desperate. O que é que você pode me dizer? Eu olhei I looked at her a long time and thought how pain drives one crazy e como and how materialism has nothing to offer us. What would materialism say to her? Aim a gun at your head and die as well? Será que o But would this solve the problem? Ele disse, Queira, I said to her, whether you believe it or not, Death does not end life. There are many things that I want them to be that are not, but unfortunately, it's different. So it is not the fact of whether I believe and you believe or not that affects whether the immortality of the soul exists. It exists because it is a universal law. Nothing dies. Nothing is lost. Everything is transformed. We see that in chemistry. We have known it for several centuries. But it's also so in life. Your son has not died. He has committed one of the most serious moral errors in the face of life. Suicide, as Kardec says in his fourth book, Hopes and Consolations, is a terrible enemy of life. It's a cowardly crime. Because a person who is going to kill themselves deprives themselves of the opportunity of saving themselves. It's a thankless act. The person is selfish. 
O seu the drama fazendo se matar. E ele faz que aqueles que o amam sofrem. Será isso justo? Seu filho tinha um motivo para se matar. Ninguém mata. Ele tinha razão para se matar. Ninguém mata. For no one Mas just kills themselves without reason. He must have had a reason to kill himself because nobody would do that without a motive. He did not think about his mother's love or his father's or his girlfriend's or his friends and the trauma that he would make them all experience. But as I was talking with her, I began to enter trance and I could see normally as a woman came close who appeared quite physically different to her in structure. She was a lady measuring more or less 1 meter 60, while the other one was taller, with a more delicate form, thinner. This lady came next to me and said, My daughter is a person who suffers. She is an atheist and a materialist. And she suffers because she wants an explanation for everything. A materialism cannot provide it. This is Leontina speaking. Tell her, I am her mother. I passed away less than three months ago. Tell her. I continue to say other things, and I suddenly said, Although you don't believe, I would like to ask you, do you think I know you? No, I've never seen you before. No, 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 you don't know me. But I know Madame Leontina. And she was surprised. And she replied, Madame Leontina is my mother. I said, precisely. She's here, telling me that she passed away more or less three months ago. And that she's trying to help her grandson, who was the one of the reasons for her living. And she described me her grandson, and I told her. At that moment, I saw a thin young man, pale, with the mark of a gunshot to his face, bleeding. I got a fright. Madame Leontina said to me, It's my son, my dear grandson. He committed suicide with a shot from a revolver. Notice that the mother had told me that he had committed suicide, but he had not told me about which means. So he has come here to comfort you, although he is full of hatred for her and his father. This is because he had religious vocations. Since childhood, he loved the Catholic religion. He wanted to be a priest. He wanted to do religious studies against his parents' wishes. They allowed it. He joined the Eucharistic Crusade. Now, at the age of 15, he wanted to obtain their permission to join the lower seminary in the following year. His parents said, no way. They would prefer to see him dead than to become a Catholic priest. And on the Sunday, they had an argument while sitting at the table. And he then asked, Mother, do you promise me that there's nothing beyond death, that you die, that is it? Mommy, do you promise me that there is nothing beyond death? And the mother answered, Son, I'm a psychoanalyst. I know about the psyche, the soul, human being. When it's over, it's over. When there's a lack of oxygen in the brain and the thoughts end, a person might continue to live, but where is the soul? The young man became more and more agitated and asked his father, Daddy, I wanted to save souls. And his father replied, What soul, son? I wonder if you might have a sexual problem and you're wanting to escape, to hide it. And the young man said, so, if I kill myself, then that's the end? And the father said, yes, the end. Life has no meaning. So the young man left. He went to the bedroom. And the discussion was over. But instead of going to his bedroom, he went to his parents' bedroom. Because he knew that his father had a revolver in the bedside table. He was very worried about burglars, so he obtained a license to carry a gun. At that point, the young man took the revolver out of the drawer and he fired it at his face and killed himself.
I was a bit shocked. And I told her, I can see a young man here with these characteristics. But the lady, she was so rude that instead of listening to me, she held me and said, you are telepaths. You're picking up my thoughts by telepathy. I said, maybe, but I am respectful. May you know that I did not know anything and now I know, whether by telepathy, telegraphy, or whatever you wish, that you cannot deny that I am paranormal, that I'm not common. To tell you the truth, I am just a medium. I am a spiritist. And as you know, this is a spiritist center. I am a medium, and I pick up things. But in order for you to understand, you will need to read a lot to unravel the unwise ideas of Freud, Adler, and Lacan. De Adler, de Lacais, etc. But you know, yes, you are not the only one with culture. The poor and other people also. I know how to read. I know, and I have conviction. I have been dealing with the spirits for over 30 years. Your belief will not shake me or embarrass me. Remember that you came here seeking me. I didn't call for you because we don't insist on anybody. The person who is suffering comes. But if they don't come, I think it's great. May they be very happy. We are not those who preach. You can only be happy with us. No, no, no. You're entitled to be happy according to your standards. And then she said, my son, what is he saying? I didn't tell her. Because he was telling me, she killed me. She is feeling guilty. It's because of her and daddy told me that I would find nothing, that I killed myself. Because it was pointless for me to remain in that life without being able to exercise my faith, my religion. But I didn't say this. It wasn't the right moment. A medium must be very serene and exercise discretion to decide what to transmit. She remained there a little longer and calmed down. She asked, but Divaldo, how do you explain this? I know that when you die, it's over. I said, no, they told you that when you die, it's over. But not everything that is said is true. This is not true. You can be at peace. And she said, Divaldo, would you see us if I came back with my husband? I said, yes, of course, but you have to queue like everybody else. I don't do private consultations. I'm not a guru. This is not my livelihood. I work. I'm a civil servant. And during my free time, instead of going out to the usual distractions, I dedicate myself to spiritism. It's a different type of doctrine. It's religious because it practices charity. You can bring your husband. She was a little shaken because she had to decipher everything that I told her. She had to see me. Uh, she had never seen me before. If it was a case of telepathy, excellent, that her thoughts had told me everything. She left, and I carried on my usual life. At the next meeting, on the Tuesday, the previous one had been on a Saturday evening, I saw her on the seats reserved for visitors who wished to speak to me. There was a gentleman with her. His face was pale. Her face was marked by weeping, but she was not nervous. Finally, when it was their turn, she came with her husband and said, this is my husband. She said, he said that his wife has a wild imagination, that everything you said is my imagination. And she said to me, can you say something to him? I said, ha, 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 hold on there. It's not quite like that. Let's take it slowly. It's from there to here, not from here to there. I don't know if there's any spirit who wishes to come through. I am a telephone. But if I have nobody calling the telephone, it will be silent. So let's talk. The husband said, Divaldo, I'm a psychiatrist. I said, this is what I heard. Your wife told me. And he started speaking. He was very a very well-educated man. And at a certain point, I saw his mother-in-law arrive. 
the lady from before, a very good spirit. And the lady said to me, he's a sensitive man. He doesn't believe because of his education. But if you say something that I'm going to tell you, he will be impressed. Then she told me something very private of their family life at their home, as she used to live with them. So I said, Doctor, that angel that I mentioned, your wife's mother, is here with us. He said, but Ivaldo, how can you see, as anyone sees? Those who are myopic see with a deformity. And if they use glasses, they can correct it and see perfectly. I cannot explain how you see. I would say by seeing. They appear fully formed by the energy. And that was the energy that they had during their reincarnation. He said, it's so interesting, but I think it might be impossible. And I said, I agree. So then I said, she's telling me how happy she is that you were not a son-in-law, but a proper son, to the point that she made reference. And that is how I said it. I don't know the details, not to embarrass you, but she told me about this fact, a very personal fact. You still had not told your wife, but you told this lady instead. And she advised you to speak to your wife. Is it true? He became even paler than he was already. And interesting, he said. And he asked her, do you remember, darling, that fact? And he repeated it. And the spirit had told me, but I didn't share it. And the man said, my God. And so the atheist also speak with God. So funny. <laughs> if this is true, what is the meaning of life? It's to love to help others. Just like I'm helping you, I have never seen you before, and perhaps I will never see you again. But here we are, talking, giving your life meaning. When you lost your son, you lost your reason for living. Yes, my life is empty now. And we carried on talking, but then the young man and my spiritual guide Joana de Angelis appeared. She allowed him to write to his father by automatic writing. I always have paper, uh, messages, pencils, and all the books by Alan Kardec with me to offer people who come to speak to me. So I took some paper on the stage, which is a little higher, and I bent over with the young man. Uh, he wrote a very quick but distressed message. Due to the suicide, he could feel his moral and physical pain of the bullet in the face. So then I said, here's a message that he is sending you. This man stopped and said these words. Sometimes I work with a patient, just like my wife. We struggle for 10 years to cleanse, that's the word he used, to cleanse a person from a trauma, a problem. And when they're clear, we say, now go and enjoy. They walk out of the clinic, they're run over by a motorcycle and die. He said, it's a paradox, isn't it? I say, yes, it's a paradox. He said more. Sometimes I feel like telling the patients, Go and enjoy. Go and have fun. You're going to die. Life has no meaning. But now, now I know that life does have meaning. And they came back again and again. And they became spiritists. And one day he said to me, as time went by after the fatal day, I thought of, my, of the killing, I thought of killing my wife and then killing myself. Then I remembered book four of the Spirit's book, Hopes, that materialism cannot grant. He started having hope. Now he could be a father to the orphans without fathers. And the consolation of knowing 
that his son was alive. Over time, I wrote another three automatic writing messages from the young man. With time, naturally, he was very young. God is love, not a chastiser. And he had many things in his favor. His innocence, his home where he lived, his ideas. So, hopes and consolations. There cannot be greater pain than when somebody dear to us dies. The empty place they have left cannot be filled. Days take on the aspect of dark nights. The melancholy of longing is an always present dagger. And the meaning of life undergoes a big shock. Spiritism is the consoler that Jesus has offered us. It comes to bring us hope, to live. I had a near-death experience around 1970. The doctor said I would live less than a month. He passed away many years ago, and I'm still here, certain of the survival of the soul, waiting for the moment of the great voyage, but I'm actively waiting, with respect for the limitations that are sometimes imposed by age. Today, these are some of the problems, and I'm certain of the value of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will never leave you often, he said. I will pray to my father, and he will send you the comforter, and he will repeat my lessons to you, and who will be saying new things that will be, and it will abide with you forever. Let us hope that this luminous message that, insert, that is inserted in five foundation books, two complementary books and a magazine that was published from January 1858 until March 1869 of the century before last. And uh, we have so the Spiritist Doctrine, this faceted diamond, with the additional works from serious meters, the apostles of the cause, the faithful servants of goodness, so we may be enriched with hope and have our souls consoled by the sweet tenderness of Jesus Christ. I wish you much peace. Hello, everyone. This was a wonderful talk given by our brother, father, Divaldo Franco. And on behalf of uh, Irish Spiritist Federation and BUS, we want to say thank you for this moment. Thank you, Divaldo, for your time and energy. Thank you, Joana de Angelis, for allowing uh, Divaldo to be with us. Thank you, Buzz, for the opportunity to work once more together. And I wish you all a great uh, day and a great moment with your family. Yes, it's true. Esteban said well, because Divaldo is for us a father, a guide, someone that you always look at the books and you can see things that guide you for life, especially knowing yourself, our internal garden, because the psychology, spiritual psychology by Joana de Angelis, let us know a wonderful way to solve our problems, acquiring more knowledge about life, about family, about our existences. So thank you so much, dear Divaldo. Thank you for everything you have done for us for all this year, more than 40 years coming to the UK, give your talks, and shining your light here. Thank you all for this wonderful event, all the countries together. We are strong and we can really spread the teachings of Jesus to Alan Kardec and you, Divaldo. Thank you so much. I'm so impressed with this wonderful talk. Thank you all. Bless you all. Thank, Thank you, Islam. You.